My name is uh, Maike. I'm uh, from the Foundation of Free uh, Women of Rojava. I lived for three years in uh, North Syria and I experienced in this time uh, the uh, yeah the life and the upbuilding of the revolutionary process, uh, especially from the point of view of the women's movement. The idea of the revolution is to create a real uh, democratic, ethical and uh, gender uh, freed uh, society uh, starting with women's liberation uh, so against patriarchal system so uh, what has been done in uh, Rojava is to build up a structure which is built up on communes uh, communes it's like neighborhoods so one street for example when you have uh, 1,000 up to 1,200 people living in one street they organize themselves as a commune uh, uh, the women as a women's commune and then there's a general commune so the women take always place in the or organize themselves always autonomously uh, and then uh, they get organized also in the common space and from this uh, you have uh, a bigger organization on the level of cities uh, which would be the city council in which people organize themselves and then also cantons it's the swiss system which is uh, an example for there so it's the canton system and then you have a coordination between the different cantons which would be the different regions it's uh uh, uh kobani before now it's called uh uh, Canton Firat, uh, because it's not only Kobani but uh, several cities, also Manbij and in the future also Raqqa, which will have this uh, canton, and then uh, the canton of Afrin. Uh, so it's um, uh, three cantons which have been built up. Um, and uh, so you have on the communal level, on the uh, city level, on the canton level and also on the coordination level you have your women's structure, your autonomous women's uh, structure in coordinating everything and you have the common structure. Um, and all works uh, f beginning from the commune uh, are organized in uh, five uh, uh, commissions and it will be uh, developed uh, more. Uh, one is the self-defense, uh, which is the main need, of course, at the moment, because there's still attacks of the Assad regime, of Turkish regime. Uh, you have attacks of uh, uh, terror milits like uh, uh, Al Nusra, uh, ISIS. Uh, so this is a, a big uh, problem, of course. These attacks, uh, and there has to be a self. Defense, but not only self-defending yourself with a weapon against somebody coming from outside, but also defending yourself mentally. So understanding, okay, where where does a danger maybe come from? How can we prevent people also uh, of doing things that is against their own community? So this you also have an ideological uh, self-defense. Uh, the second one would be education. Uh, education is. Um, uh, necessary to uh, yeah to organize everything yourself. So after the um, uh, revolution, um, the regime was not anymore in the region. So uh, and try to uh, oppress the people by cutting water, cutting electricity. Uh, you have to believe in uh, summertime. It's 40, uh, 50 degrees in the shadow, so it's really hot places. Uh, 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 and Turkey is cutting, cutting also the natural water like the river. Uh, so there has been a lot of difficulties. So the people uh, came together and then they had to discuss about how can they organize themselves or how does your own body function, uh, what is the, uh, how does your health work and so on and so on. So all these different thematics, how do, do you grow uh, children to be a democratic person and so on. So all these questions are discussed in the education uh, committee and they also have the a uh, role to set up education for their communes. Uh, so they are maybe uh, organized as a committee, uh, but they're organizing for all the com commune. Uh, the next one is the health, uh, health commission. Uh, committee, commission, you can take uh, both words, it doesn't matter. Uh, um, and uh, in the health commission, uh, we established um, uh, communal health care also. 
uh, or we are still establishing it because it still not has the idea of what we want to. For example, in every neighborhood, you have a health center uh, or responsibles at least uh, for health care. And then uh, for the things that the people cannot solve by themselves, they can go to a doctor. But uh, in general, you have health care already in your own community. Uh, so this has to be um, learned also. Uh, uh, we did this, for example, with, for the women's health committees and practicing also, so they're getting professional in a very fast way also, because it's always both theoretically and uh, practical. Um, so this was the third commission. The fourth commission is a commission which I think is very interesting because it's a commission um, which is trying to um, uh, organize good living with each other, which is uh, the commission of uh, bringing people together. Uh, it's If you translate di directly, it is like this, but it, it would be the commission of uh, yeah, conflict and peace work, maybe, among the neighborhoods. So if there are difficulties among people in the neighborhood, or, or there's question of violence, or robbing each other, or whatever, uh, then uh, they try to, uh, first they try to prevent these things, which is, I think, also something very important. But then, in the next step, they uh, they try to also solve the problem. Uh, and the method methods is much more uh, like mediation and moderating uh, the conflicts between the people to also f try to find a solution. Um, and this system um, mm, gives the possibility that there's not the need to have something like an external just, just, justice uh, system, uh, but the people are solving the problems again in their own, like uh, th this is actually the natural way to live. People have always done this like this before the states came, so um, uh, they lived for a long time in this way. Um, so this would be the um, fourth uh, commission. The fifth commission uh, is the economic commission, of course. Uh, economic uh, commission has also a very big uh, role to play because uh, the borders have been uh, closed uh, and uh, there is the need to develop a own uh, economy which uh, guarantees the people uh, to stay and also to deal with all the refugees that are coming to the regions uh, to open up a solidarity economy among the people living anywhere and anyway in these places but also uh, coming from ex they built for up, uh, for example, the cooperatives to uh, raise uh, potatoes and tomatoes and uh, yeah, all vegetable things and uh, fruits and uh, wheat and all these kind of things. Mm, yeah, dealing with these things and looking, for example, also what is the need of the people in the commune and how can they. Sh mm, built up a share system so that the people that are in need for something uh, get also the support of the ones that uh, do not uh, do have something for, for example like this so there's also a lot of of course ideological uh, discussion about how can this can be de developed uh, the uh, sixth um, commission is the commission of ecology uh, this is a process which is uh, built up newly, uh, so uh, there was always the idea to have this commission also, but uh, the people were um, until now mainly uh, busy with surviving, so uh, for this reason they uh, maybe did not focus too much on the ecological uh, part. But for the other side, we can also say that there's a big anyway a very strong uh, ecological life there because uh, people still produce their own uh, mm, they have um, animals so they have their own milk then from this they produce their own uh, cheese and uh, uh, ha mostly have fields of wheat and from this they produce uh, their f uh, mm, bread now so uh, there is a, a very uh, ecological way of uh, living. They don't go to the supermarket and buy cheese and package, packages which they afterwards have to throw away. Um, so this is mainly the way of uh, organizing everything and uh, you have this al always on the local level, uh, but you have this also on a city level. Uh, for most of the thematics you also have special councils, uh, for example for health. You also have a special council uh, on, a, on, on the 
city level because uh, there's the need to organize a lot of things so they have their meetings from all the communes and uh, from all the organizations that work in the health matter even the municipality uh, taking place in these uh, meetings to organize all the health questions. It's the most uh, beautiful uh. question, I think, <laughs> because I think that really in Rojava you have democracy. Uh, for example, in lots of, lots of places you don't have the possibility to say your opinion and this opinion also influences something. But in Rojava, um, Everybody can tell uh, its opinion and then together you make a research on uh, in which mentality are you saying your opinion and uh, uh, how can this uh, opinion also be involved in the process and uh, uh, so uh, Rojava's continuous uh, discussion an all serious continuous discussion about uh, how can we build up an even more stronger, a more wider, a more deeper uh, democracy. And I think this is something which is really um, where everybody in the world can learn of. Uh, and it is protected especially uh, by the women's movement because the women's movement wants everybody to be involved. And so they're working very hard also that everybody's opinion is in uh, yeah, in the discussions uh, represented, uh, not by the person themselves. So whether it's the children or the old ones or the different ethnics or the different religious or uh, whatever, that they all start with uh, each other, this discussion process, how can we build up a better democracy and how can we build up a better, how can we improve our system of democracy? And so I think, um, uh, in Rojava, really, uh, democracy is uh, everyday living life. Uh, yeah, it, it really expresses the beauty of Rojava also. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>